Mary, Mary, Jody, John, Daniel, Greg. All right. Well, welcome everybody. It's so great to see each and every one of you. We're glad to have you with us on the AMAs. Ask me anything with the AMazing Robert Hollis. Uh, we're going to get started in just a couple minutes. Uh, a couple of things. If you have a question for Robert, any question, go ahead and share it with us. And for those of you that are watching live right now, go ahead and click on the raise hand button at the bottom of the screen. It's right below here. If you are watching in Zoom, uh, it's raise hand. If you don't see raise hand, then click on the reactor reactions button and raise hand would be there. If you're not seeing that, then click on the three dots, then click on either raise hand or reactor reactions and you'll find the raise hand button. I know several different ways, but uh, us, we, and Zoom have changed things around a little bit, trying to make it easier for each and every one of you so that you can share with us. Like James Saunders has his hand raised, he'll be coming up very, very soon. Uh, thank you, each and every one of you. We are now up to 7,299 subscribers. One away from the Magic 7300. And it's magic because it's just another goal on the way to 100,000. So let's go ahead and turn that baby over to 7,300 and keep it going to 100,000. That is a goal here on the network, and we do appreciate you sharing it, uh, with us at that. Also, I got to give a shout out to Terry. She has just officially, not that she needed to, but officially joined the Imaginators. What? Yeah. She subscribed. And she, was so, at, she was mad at me and she said, I don't know what's going on here. I'm trying to watch Matt's video. Uh, and, you know, when he was on, I said, listen, he deserves the money. You need to be a subscriber. Right. <laughs> no, I, I thought that. I'm like, either you guys will put it up on the TV and both watch or he's going to tell her that she's got to become a subscriber. <laughs> hey. Well, we know which when one I it was. Saw her show up. I was like, hey. <laughs> now we can get started there we go saying. that's true it is now official now that you're here terry with us thank you so very much all right um and finally before we get things started with robert um gotta say that uh it was great to see robert this post yesterday from you and it does explain a lot about ego and spirit ego says once everything falls into place, I will have peace. Spirit says, find your peace, and then everything will fall into place. Nice. Something to think about. I like it too. That is really, really awesome. All right. That being said, we want you to, to like and subscribe. Uh, those of you watching on YouTube, thank you so much for participating and joining us. And let's get started. These are the AMAs, the Ask Me Anythings, with a gentleman who is our GPS to success, a guide, mentor, and a dear friend. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give it up for the AMAzing Mr. Robert Hollis and Terry Hollis. Yes, Craig, 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 the hostess with the mostest. And for those who are viewing this for the first time, I pray, I pray, even if you don't, that one day you experience somebody as wonderful as Craig introducing you that way. So uh, when, when, when that happens, it's like, wow, is that really me? And I guess so. So Craig, thank you so much. You're the best. And um, for those of you that see all the shorts that are always happening on the channel, uh man i gotta give craig a big shout out he works very 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 hard on those and he does an amazing job so we're very very blessed to have him so thank you craig bless you thank you so much and if you guys haven't seen some of the stuff that we recorded uh matt did an incredible uh what are you calling them matt the imagination hour imagination <laughs> hour Hey, right. I remember when I was young, there used to be a pretty successful person named Robert Schuler that did the hour of power. And uh, mm. that, 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 I was thinking of it like, uh, like a uh, Bob Ross, Mr. Rogers kind of thing. There you yeah. go. Same thing, man. Same thing. So thank you. Thank something, you. Thank you very much. Sweet, so. um, um, one of the things that I want to share with you guys today is, uh, 
I thought I'd show you just a couple of quick things. One of the things that I've said over and over and over again, um, but I still have to bring this up because I'm talking about myself, right? And what I mean about myself is that as a human being, as a human being, whenever we are challenged with something, our very first thing is to try to pull it off ourselves, right? I don't know what this human thing is about. I, I, I guess it, it feel, you know, we're told that we're weak if we ask for help. And, um, you know, I got to figure this out. School of hard knocks. I don't know if you're, you know, looking for someone to knock on your door and give you a ribbon or a trophy for going through the school of hard knocks and figuring it out. But um, one of the things that really, really changed me is, again, when you see very successful people and you ask them what to do, and they say the number one thing is to ask for help. And so where people get really frustrated sometimes or they really get upset is they are always wishing for resources. I wish the company would do this. I wish Robert would do this. I wish my sponsor would do this. I wish that my city was more into open-mindedness about personal development and earning money outside of a job. And I, I wish my country was different. I wish my government was different. Uh, I, like I said before, not to bash anybody, but, um, you know, I really love what's going on with our politics uh, right now. And, and the reason why is, again, you find out what everyone else does and you do the exact opposite. I believe that there's a lot of people watching at, watching our government and our politics and going, man, no one's coming to help me. <laughs> it's like, it's like, wow, wow, these these people are running the country. It's like the first thing that I would do if I was president, and you know, the way our system set up, it wouldn't allow me to do it. But man, I would put term limits on every freaking job <laughs> that has to do with service. It's just amazing that. Uh, these old people are rallying around their old people friends. <laughs> it's like, hey, let's see how long we can take advantage of these people. Sorry, I got on a tangent. But 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 bottom line, the one thing that I want to teach you is the opposite. There's this concept where you're constantly looking for resources, 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 resources. And all you got to do is change that mentality to being resourceful. If it's to be, it's up to me. And we live in a time, you know, this is uh, July 13th, 2024. Do you guys realize we live in a time where you can go online and find every answer to everything that you're looking for? Everything. So I'm having trouble with my phone or I can't get on the internet or, you know, I want to figure out how to tie a tie. Uh, I want to figure out how to take the scratches out of the side of my car. <laughs> you guys don't seem to understand that YouTube and AI with YouTube, that you can find anything at any time. And what I love most about AI, once Matt endorsed that and showed me how to use it, is that a lot of you don't even realize that you can use it for everything. Why, you know, why don't I contact people? Why do I procrastinate? Why do I have anxiety? Um, why do I beat the crap out of myself? How can I stop beating the crap out of myself? So you guys don't realize that, you know, Apple came out with a really successful video uh, commercial saying there's an app for that. Well, now there's a podcast for that. And I don't want to beat up anybody on here that watches this live or recorded. But when it comes to talking about financing and creating wealth, I just would rather listen to Charlie Munger and Warren Buffett instead of your cousin. I hope you don't I hope you don't get mad at me. 
And then I always have these people that reach out to me all the time. Oh my God, I see that you and your wife made $4.9 million. Yeah. Well, I got a better program for you. <laughs> I'm like, you know, um, man, the elevator is not even going to the top floor. You know what I mean? I, if, if I'm going to contact anybody, I'm not going to reach out to people that are wealthy, that are successful, and go, hey, you know, Elon Musk, I think you should stop what you're doing. I know you're launching rockets and building electric cars and boring things underneath the ground and, and um, you know, running X. But you should really look at this affiliate program I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> but apparently there's some people that think that's the way to do business, right? And so I just want to share with every one of you that even if you went to my YouTube channel, and I just want to show you something. And again, uh, I, I think that this is like Captain Obvious, to be brutally honest with you guys. But I, I don't want to assume anything, right? Right. You know, when you assume something, uh, uh, you, know, you know, you make an ass out of you and me. And so can you see this all right, Craig? Yeah, we got it. Now, I want Craig, because I can't see the chat. I thought that I could see the chat when I share, but maybe not. But Matt and Craig, you guys can name something else out because I want to ask for participation. Participation in the group chat. All okay, right. everybody, get your chats ready. All Remember, right. click so, on the chat button to yeah. do so. All right. So there's a lot of things that you might want to know. And a lot of people don't know that you can search here. Everybody goes, okay, Robert, I understand. You know what I mean? That you can change there. But do you know there's another search right here that searches, searches the channel of whoever you're looking at? So I want somebody that knows my training. Again, like Craig said, we only have, you know, 2.1 thousand videos here. <laughs> we got, we, I, I, it says in our back office that we have over a million views, but right here it says 937. But if you were building this business, right? My first thing would be, you know, uh, you know, how? You know, and then all of a sudden you can look at it because it goes through every nail because of the way the internet's driven is um, how to make $5,000. You know what I mean? Uh, what if we put in fear? What it's bringing up is the transcription of every one of these videos and fear. I'm scared what to do, right? Uh what are some other things in the chat that you want me to put in here? Success. Excuses. <laughs> Excuses. Uh, uh, first, you got to learn how to spell. E-X-C-U-S-E-S. -E there you go. There you go. Overcoming objections. Breaking free from excuses. Overcoming excuses. Judge Judy's epic response of whining for whiners and complainers. <laughs> but do you guys understand that if I took that from here to up here, excuses, there's going to be people, look at it, there's songs, visualization, you know, all these different songs. I, I, I'm blowing away right now with how many um you look up any kind of word and and you'll find like i did this with imagination and so if every one of you knew that the first thing that you should do excuse me is immediately go to someone that you respect that's not only got evidence and documentation of helping other people succeed but why wouldn't you want to get the answers from people that have already done it and trained others to do it as well? There's this weird thing we do as human beings that when we don't trust ourselves and we think that we can't do something because we don't know the answer to something, we immediately talk to people that have never been there. 
Example, travel. Every one of you, pick out a country that you want to go to. And then do me a huge personal favor just to prove it to yourself. Put that on Facebook. Put that on social media. I see Arthur smiling. Because you guys all know what's going to happen. Well, I'm thinking about going to Budapest. Reach out to your family and friends. I'm going to Budapest. You'll have every freaking one of them, including all the people that follow you on social media, talk you out of going to Budapest. So why do you think that's different than anything else you do? Now, if you talk to someone from Budapest and ask them if you should go to Budapest, what do you think they would say? <laughs> hey, I've been here forever. I know these places that are local. I know the best restaurants to go to. You want to talk about a surprise. I'm watching the Dream Trips training today. Terry and I was. And then they said, hey, we just went on this Dream Trip excursion to this castle. And they found out that there was people there that had birthdays. So the castle found out about the birthday and got just brought a birthday cake to them and all the staff sang to them. And I'm looking at the pictures and I'm going, one of my 250 Ks is there, Laszlo Kuhn, and his whole entire group. He must have had 20 people there that were all holding signs that said dream trips. <laughs> so, you know, I'm just getting plugged into this. And then I see people that are in my organizations on tr dream trips already. And I'm just going like, how many people would that click for you, right? So if I was gonna come to your city, would you know the best things to see in your city? It's called traveling local, right? So you find people that have been there all the time. So again, instead of looking for resources, would someone help me? I wish there was a training on this. I wish Robert would hold my hand. I, I, I wish I wish someone would build my business for me. Well, then, of course, we have AI. And I know that some of you are going to fight AI for the rest of your life. You're just you're just going to do it. And what I do with AI, since Matt in introduced it to me, is I ask it everything. It, it, it gets you to what you want faster, way, way, way faster than even searching on Google, because Google actually has people that pay money to steer you in a direction. Are you hearing me? And it was funny because I just upgraded, you know, to my my thing said to relaunch it, get it back up. And I said, hey, you know what? I just updated. How can I, up, what, you know, how is the upgrade better? It's like, what, are, what the hell are you talking about? So you can understand that, you know, I, I did it in Robert's word instead of AI's word there. You know what I mean? And then I said, chat GPT. So instead of going, I wonder why it's better if I upgrade, do you think it's a little better to just have it tell you what the best things are? <laughs> and, you know, anytime my wife and I are just talking about anything, you know what I mean? You see over here, how many do how many Costco members are there? And you know, and and uh, a brick short of a load. You know what I did is I, <laughs> I asked that how many different phrases there is. You know, for people that you know, there's certain people right now that are running for office that I wanted to find out if there's some other word. <laughs> Craig, it's it's like whoa, 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 whoa. Um, but. What is so neat about this is the questions that you can ask it. Like there's this, how many people n realize, and I know Matt has shared this with you guys, but you know, I don't know how much percentage of the stuff that's on social media right now is just flat out a lie just for clickbait. And I, you know, they Matt has brought it up that the AI now is like launching things just to get clickbait. You know, so one of them that I know is just total bullshit is like Mel Gibson and 
and uh, Tom Hanks are joining together to leave Hollywood because you know what I mean? And it's like, yeah, you know, it's got a deal. And then it says in there, click on the link that's in the, you know, the comments. And it's like, now you're off Facebook onto a different world that they want you to be on, right? And so I just wanted you guys to just trust that yourself and just start going, listen, when I feel like, like, you know, I um, recently watched something I told you guys on some other videos that, um, um, you know, I said, what is the most famous motivational speaker? What is the person that more people have said that this person is the bomb. And it came back Earl Nightingale by far. Uh, how many of you want to get better? Don't you think that you could go to AI and say, who is the best person on this? That's going to save you a lot of time. Wouldn't you agree? And so, I just wanted to share that because a lot of people don't know where those searches are. Uh, again, like Apple said, there's a pod, there's an app for that. Now I know there's a podcast for that. And me going back to all the original stuff of the people that are original, you know, the people that know the most about whatever it is. And then you sort of get, because I believed, see people, you know, you guys know my book, how is that working? You know, and in that phrase, you know, I had to, I was almost spilling Terry's M and M's. You know what I mean? But but you know, the whole thing is um is is uh how do you know that? How do you know that? And then the second part that I use is how many of you know that you know that you know that you know something based on your programming, your perspective, your beliefs, everything. And then you find out the very thing that you believe the most is really not true. So I always say, if what you know that you know that you know, and a lot of you don't realize this, but every one of you are programmed. You are 1000% programmed. And you are programmed so well that you notice that you just keep doing the same loops over and over and over again. And so that someone shows you something that can change your life. And then you find every reason not to do the thing that could change your life. Haven't you ever asked yourself why? I know if I did four push-ups a day, four setups a day and four jumping jacks a day or four pull-ups a day, if I did them every day, the, the, the amount that I would see a difference in my life in six months to a year will blow your mind. And that's why Jim Rowan said, well, what's easy is easier not to do. I don't think I've ever seen it said it that way. That, that, that flowed good. So what's easy is easier not to do. And so every one of us is unique and different. There's a 400 trillion chance to one. I just seen um, Neil deGrasse Tyson. Did I say it right that time? Oh my God. It's like uh, that, that, the three names just, you know, no, yeah, they don't, they don't anymore. So, but someone asked him, is it true? This thing that you hear about a 400 trillion chance of one of you actually being alive on this planet today. And he goes, now that's, I'm, I'm sorry, that's not true. He says, you easily got to take that number by five. And the guy was going, what? And he was going, do you realize the odds of you not being here? <laughs> do you realize of all the things that could possibly happen that would not allow you to be alive at this point in time in your life? And it was like, wow, I thought he was going to come out and say, no, it's not that much. No, he's saying it's, it, it's you know, five times more. So I don't know what 400 trillion times five is. <laughs> but I was telling mom this. I, I just want you guys to be very open-minded to think You're about- telling Terry, sorry to interrupt you. Uh, you meant Terry. You said I was telling mom this. I just want everybody to make sure. I just because I'm here, way. he's used- 
I know just because I'm here, he's used to saying that. So I just for the audience. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Matt. Yeah, of course. Okay. I was talking to Terry about this and I know a lot of you heard this, but do you remember this? So Terry and I, Craig fits in this, uh, everyone that's, you know, in their fifties, sixties, listen to this. We grew up in, and went to school for science. And you know what they had on every wall and hanging from almost every ceiling is the planetary. They would show the sun and all the planets. The solar How system. Of, uh, uh, the solar system. How many people remember this? I don't remember when it was, and Matt can look this up, but do you guys realize when they got better and better computers and telescopes, they one day just came out and said, hey, we're sorry, but this is not a planet. It's a star. <laughs> and I don't remember what, what planet it was. Was it Actually, Uranus? I think it was Pluto, and they declassified they, they it a as a planet. Yeah, a dwarf what? planet, correct. Dwarf planet, not Uranus. Dwarf planet. No, oh, so not Arthur, Pluto, said they dwarf added, planet. Arthur said that they added it back. Well, that, that would be funnier yet. Right. So, and and also, you know, who did that, by the way, who Neil deGrasse Tyson was the guy that was behind the Pluto stuff. Oh, <laughs> look it up. So here here's the only reason that I'm bringing it up and I'm done with my little rant today is is um, yesterday they came out and showed on the news that the new Webb telescope found two other galaxies. So I'm just like going, oh my God. And how many of you remember when an idiot that everyone calls an idiot right now um, actually launched a rocket into the air and he put his personal roadster on there with an astronaut in a seat, right? Do you guys know how many light years Elon Musk's ship, spaceship is away from the earth? something like six light years. So he's figured out how to move the rocket with thrust thrusters toward a planet. The planet is in massive rotation. He pulls it into the gravity of that planet and then slingshots it further into the universe. <laughs> and he just goes from planet to planet to planet. And like, no one's paying attention and it's like, yeah, he was a, it, it his spaceship, you know, went by Mars like years ago. And it seems like it he just lost it. So I'm just saying that to each and every one of you is that the majority of the stuff that we really truly believe that we know is not so. And on top of that, if there's now databases, um, I seen this and I couldn't find it again. See, this is where you can get caught up in BS and belief stuff. But I actually watched uh, a small video, Matt, maybe you know this, but it was saying that you now can go to YouTube and somehow click on any video and find the summary for any video. I haven't. I mean, there's a way to see transcripts for every video. I haven't seen that yet, but I've, I've heard of a lot of stuff that YouTube's coming out with that's like amazing you know like yeah. even being able to mm -hmm. like just as you were showing everybody the search where you were searching through your videos eventually you'll be able to not just search that but you'll search the transcript of every video on the channel so if you put a sentence it would show every video and an exact time in that video when you talked about that specific thing which is just nuts right if you wanted a specific help of some kind you could search it and find it immediately which is yeah amazing you know yeah, so. and, and I, I did that for quotes all the time. You know what I mean? It, it, I, um, I, I, every morning, I, uh, a very dear friend of ours, uh, D'Angelo Hunt, sent me this calendar. And it's every day just a Bible verse. You know, so for those of you that are non-believers, just hang on a second. Story will be short. It is, uh, is the 1 Corinthians 2.9. This was the verse, and I probably have gone through this calendar probably eight, ten years. Yeah, we've had it a while. A long, long time. 
and and uh, I, I'm I'm going to post it tomorrow. But I I want to read it to you because I was sort of blown away. So it says, "No eyes have seen, no ears has heard, and no mind has imagined what God has prepared for those who love Him." And so I'm just saying that because I I know for a fact that when I look at our lives, that the stuff that I've experienced are things that were so beyond my imagination, my ability to see or, or hear, that when you really plug into your imagination and trust yourself and believe that whatever created me will also help me create what I want in my life. That, that saying that you always hear from people that are very, very successful and they go, if you would change anything, what would you change? And people, every one of the people that I know that are massively successful, they all say, I didn't dream big enough. I didn't imagine big enough. You know, it's like we all uh, grossly underestimate what we can do as, our, as, a, as a human being. But if you continue down that journey, it just keeps getting bigger and bigger and bigger. So that's my little rant for today. I hope you guys enjoyed it and we'll answer some questions. And and oh, by the way, I I, I have some MMA fights tonight at two. So this is, this is gonna be, what? Yay! She gets, she gets her alone time, you know what I mean? All right, so All right. thank you. Fantastic. Well, thank you so very much, Robert. What a great insight for today's AMA. Thank you. All right. Um, just really quick, if you like what you're watching, please go ahead. If you're watching on YouTube, hit the like button and subscribe so that you can get more of this. Click the bell button so that you are notified when we do things like this live or a new video comes out. Thank you so very much. We love you and we appreciate you. Uh, being that we are on that time schedule, I think we'll just get in James Saunders, given the time right now. So James, go ahead, open up, and please share with us. Hey. I can hear hey, you, Robert. James. How are you doing? I am blessed and highly favored and deeply loved. How are you, love? And um, blessed, <laughs> highly favored, and deeply loved. We just you lost should. your video, James. Just lost your camera. There you go. Blessed, highly favored, and deeply loved. Well, thank you, James. How are you? Blessed, <laughs> highly favored, and deeply loved. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, I wanted to double up your blessings today. Thank you. Um, real quick. Um, 37 years, over 37 years of experience. I'm I'm blessed to be on this Zoom with you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. You developed a mindset of not wasting time. That's what I, I'm. I, that's what I see. I see a lot of people, myself included, wasting time. You know. <laughs> For example, one of my affiliates, he said, you know, he got it on the, um, he showed your video to, to one person, and person, the person didn't enroll as, a, as, a, as an affiliate, let me say that. How can you watch your video and not enroll as an affiliate? I don't know. But I would, if, 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 I, if, I, if, I, if I was, if I was this open-minded, I, you see how small my fingers are? If I was this open-minded and someone sent me a video showing me that they made millions and millions of dollars on their online banking and then said you could create an account for free to see what's going on, it might I might not do the business, but I would freaking check. The curiosity would drive me insane to try to figure out what this person was doing. Exactly. And that's why I always say that it, it to me is just as uh, like I said on another video just recently, James, it probably was our inner circle is that, you know, if people have an eight second attention span, 
That's what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to, so I know a lot of people are looking for a lot of customers and I appreciate that. Um, I'm just finding a bunch of people that don't want to work anymore. That's true. They don't. Yeah. And so if their programming is, I got educated, I need to do this job. I need to do this job. I need to do this job. Telling them they don't need to do the job isn't helping. It's not. See, they just in their mind. And so that's why you always have to say, hey, listen, you know, uh, I, I could show you how to supplement your income or make a lot of income by just simply sharing an affiliate link. And so the things that I love most about watching Mark Smith and the Dream Trips Academy is whoever that guy learned from, which I know who it is, 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 is someone that was actually in my organization before they went to Legal Shield. And so when I hear him talk, just like when I hear Joss Wagle talk, and he's like, it's sorting, don't take it personal. You're at a restaurant with your with your family or somebody, you know, friends, and the waitress comes up and says, can I get you guys some more coffee? And you go, no, thank you, no, thank you, I'm good, I'm good. She doesn't walk away and fall to her knees bawling because she got rejected. She made an offer. No, thank you. She moves on. Do you want a refill? No, I'll move on. Do you want dessert? No, move on. Good guess. So, so one of the things that just blows my mind is when people get into building an organization or trying to build a loyal, satisfied customer base, as soon as they get in, they reach out to just a couple of people and those people go, no, nope, I'm not interested. And they lose their freaking mind. They allow a dream stiller to steal every dream and imagination they have. Mm. It's mind boggling to me. And really so good. thank you so much for saying that. But, you know, I think that James, I think that Kai inherited a little bit. I, I know you guys are close, but I'm always like, Kai will always reach out to me and, and go, what's wrong with these stupid people? And I'm like, Man, you guys spend a lot of energy talking about people that are not interested. You just talked about wasting time. Why would you even, hey, James, I talked to this guy and he said no. And so then the next step is to reach out to everyone you know and say, this guy said no. And then you reach out to me and you say, hey, this guy said no. What would you say? What did I do wrong? Um, I spend less than a millionth, min, min, million, millionth second. No buy, no buy, no buy. I'm constantly looking in the sandbox for my golden pieces and my diamonds. And everybody else wastes time by going, yeah, but what about this piece of sand? What about that piece of sand? Well, if I nurture it and I send it to the training and I and I tell them that, you know, listen, that piece of sand's not going to turn into a diamond or a piece of gold. Can you frickin' move on? And so I ask you, James, to really think about that because I know that Kai is getting really, really good. And it's like the amount of time that you guys are frustrated by people that are not at the right time in their life is mind boggling to me. I wonder how I could have got this guy. I wonder how I could have handled this objection. I wonder how I could convince this person. I do none of that. My superpower, my superpower before I got in this business is I hated salespeople and I hate sales. So I are not going to be one. I understand that. Yeah. I know you have a you have a system, you have a systematic way of doing things. Yeah. Your mentor told you to watch a video. You watched it. He told you to read a book. You read it. You he told you to call him back. You called him back. Yep. Right? You followed what he said. 
He told me to get 70 people to watch that video in one month. And I and did. You did it? <laughs> and business exploded. Yeah. Because of it. You know, and then, my, my, and then, my, my, and then the thing that the thing that people don't realize, James, is you know what I think is the best thing that I did that my mentor taught me? Some of you are gonna miss this because you're just gonna miss it. I'm I'm sorry. When he told me that his evidence and documentation and years of experience teaching other people to do what he's doing, when he said, Robert, you don't have to know anything. Just get excited, show them the video, and if they're excited, get them in front of me. I will train them for you. I will show them how to get results. And my first thought was, awesome. This is awesome. And that is a weird trait because 99% of the people won't get into this business. And then when they do, they try to, I, you know what? I have an ego, I know everything, and I'm gonna do it my way. And I'm going like, why, mm -hmm. why? Why would you do that? Why, why? I don't understand why you would do that. And that's why I said, I love every monthly call because every monthly call that Josh does, he spends a little bit of time showing how many people ranked advance to 1K, 5K, 10K, 25K, 50K, and they did it in their first freaking month. That was a person just like Terry and I that listened. I got Josh's video seen 119,000 times. Did my did did I have 119,000 people in my group? No. That mean a lot of people said no. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people. So it's creepy. You know, you know, you had a you have a, you have a, you have a person that calls you up in the middle of the night. He says to you, I got this person to watch a video. He watched a video. I said, great. Sounds good to me. What happened? Well, as a result of that, he didn't join. Okay, he didn't join. I'm moving on. In yeah. my mind, I'm, I'm moving on. When people when say, I got what when... he says to me, he says, I feel, oh, God. <laughs> I feel I need to contact him to ask him what was on his mind, how he felt about it, why he didn't become a part of what I do. And then he calls me back. He says, hey, I just, is this network marketing? Yeah, great. I just watched the network marketing video. I saw this thing, this one product. Man, you got to watch this. Yeah. You got to watch this. If you watch this, I know you'll tear it up. And what I'm thinking at that point, I'm done. Yeah, I, 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 when people call me up and say, I got this guy to watch the video. I said, did you get an email that he became an aff affiliate? Nope. Next. Next. It's just not a sorting. It's not just a sorting. <laughs> His buddy Kai says, sounds like deja vu. Because me and Kai, Kai had this conversation. Because when I told him, when all of his energy and all of his imagination and all his focus on just finding the right people that have ears to hear, you're going to speak up your sorting so much faster when you spend zero time. One of the one of the biggest debates, James, that I've had, and you know that I brought this up on other videos, is people like Ray Higdon and Todd Falcone and Randy Gage and, and Eric Worre, all these people that confess to be um, um, network marketing trainers and experts. And um, I tell every one of them is they say, they still say this thing that comes from sales. And I even know where it came from. It came from Brian Tracy years ago. And it's the fortune, no, that fortune's in the follow-up. Fortune's in the follow-up. You need to hit them seven, eight, 11, 22 times uh, before they say yes. 
And I'm like, that is total bullshit. Total, total bullshit. And they're like, I go, I can sort a hundred people while you're trying to follow up on all the people that said no. <laughs> Do you know the amount of people that I sort through while you guys are following up on people? It's like every exciting thing that happens in network and, and MDC. And you guys spend virtually you here. Listen to this. I'm going to tell you right now how to steal all of your energy and all your vibration right now. Company comes out with something new. Oh, oh my God, they got something new. Reach out to all your dead people. Watch what happens to your energy. You just watched a training. It was exciting. And then you reach out to every damn person that you know that doesn't do anything. And now you just, you just equally yoked with a bunch of people that don't give a shit about their lives. And no one, nobody, listen, not even me, no one can do that without losing their mojo, without losing their energy. Matt, how many total contacts do we have out of all the stuff that you recently yeah. found? I mean, it's like well over a hundred thousand. So, so I want to show you guys how I'm human. Do you guys know that I'm not perfect? Listen to her. Okay. When Matt tells me that we have a hundred thousand people's contacts, what do you think I heard? Oh my God, I can do a video. We can do some emails. We got to find a way. Maybe I even said to Matt, you know, AI's got to be smart enough to come up with a way to contact these 100,000 people that were once connected to us. Because I'm human. And then I went, no, we got to find new people that have ears to hear. <laughs> <laughs> and it's like, you know, so, you know, I even reached out to someone. I didn't tell Matt this. Remember the guy that we met? Uh, uh, that was a um, social media manager. Oh, here? The Hilton yeah, Hilton. Matt, that lived here, and we went and took yes. him out. Bro. Yeah. No, I, yeah, I, I remember his, him. His name is Philip. And yep. I went, it was his birthday, or I would have probably, hey, what a way to follow up, right? Joking. So I went, went to Philip, and he had a picture of you and I in the Rolls Royce on his website. I'm going oh, like, that's funny. Ah, that's interesting, right? And and uh, I reached out to him and I said, if you had a hundred thousand emails and and ones that you created that double opt in for you, what would you do with those? And he goes, in this day and age, yeah, he goes, absolutely nothing. And I went, so some of the best people that I know that are doing this for a living know that email addresses and now the way. People use their phones. I mean, I have two different apps on my cell phone. I one, I shut my ringer off. Listen to this, you guys. My ringer is not on on my phone ever. And then I have two different apps that stop people from connecting with me. Why? Because if you're calling me on my phone, you're wasting my freaking time. How do you guys like that? I I don't want my I I don't want to randomly talk to somebody. So if you're in my favorites, you can get a hold of me. If you're not in my favorites, reach out to me on social media like Facebook Messenger or Telegram, and I'm gonna get to you and I'm ready. Because my focus needs to be on connection with new people. My focus has to be on connecting with new people that have ears to hear. I'm not interested in calling a person that believes that they're a leader with an ego that hasn't gone to work in years. <laughs> it's like some people reach out to me. Oh my God, I'm talking to this professional network marketing leader. Uh, yeah. Yeah. 
there are there those people are sometimes worse to talk to. They want to tell you everything they've done. I don't give a shit what you've done. I want to know what you're gonna do. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do if some of you if some of you still go out and meet people face to face to prospect them, don't pros people don't try to prospect and peak interest as someone that's wearing a shirt like this. Terry, what does it say? Just so everybody knows. If I look interested, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> hey if you see this t-shirt stay away <laughs> okay so um thank you james i really appreciate and love you i really appreciate you too thank you so much you bet you, you, you drove it home i understand how not to waste time Believe i me. love that topic man i love that topic it's good thank you you bet you bet james Thank you so very much. Appreciate that. All right, James, we're going to wrap your, up. James, give your wife and and uh, your wife a huggy and a kissy from me and Terry. You sure will. Cool. All right, we're going to wrap up today's Ask Me Anything with Ola Meyer across the pond, at least from us that are here in the U.S. So, I'm Ola, so go Sweden. ahead. Ola huh? from Sweden. There he is. Go <laughs> ahead, Ola. Robert. Hello, Robert. Hello, Hello Terry. You? I'm very good. Blessed and highly favored. How yes, are you? you are. I am blessed and highly favored and deeply loved. Awesome. I forgot about that one. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I, I got a question about mentors. Uh, I I know in the past you have um, you have hired a new mentor every year. So my question is. Which one is it this year? That is a great, 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 great question. Um, Thank you. I, I stopped hiring mentors. What? And, and I know that I possessed all the information that I need to create whatever I want. Yeah, you do. And so, um, yeah, I'm Arthur. I'm at a really, really, yeah, chat GPT. Thank you, Arthur. That is a good one. Yeah, um, it's a different world, Ola, to think that that all the things that you really need to know are at our fingertips for free. Yeah, that's true. And And some of the most brilliant minds on this planet, and again, when I say brilliant minds, I'm talking that, you know, people that created stuff, then after they created it, they made millions or billions with it. And then they employ, you know, thousands, if not tens of thousands or hundred thousands of people. You know what I mean? And they create this stuff. And so all, all of them now have bun caps. It's okay. crazy that you could look at the CEOs of the top 100 companies. And then go online and watch them being interviewed. <laughs> it's like, it's yeah. like, so there used to be a time when people were going online and putting courses out. And I recently, Rob Sperry just did an incredible live YouTube, uh, Facebook and YouTube video on this because he was just saying that he knows all the coaches that are in this industry and every one of them are suffering really, really bad. Hard and, to sell products or? Yeah, because they're still selling courses and they're still selling information and and they're still get trying to get people to go on these, uh, you know, these trips to go on these masterminds for, you know, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, you know, dollars. And it's like, uh, you know, I'm not saying, uh, to show you how much I mean this, that's why I stopped selling courses. Yeah. See what I mean? It, it was like, it was like now, now people that make me look like I don't make any money are doing free interviews that you could learn from. So it really changed the way I'm doing life, Ola, because right now I don't want to be a trainer. I'm not interested in training and teaching people how to do this. 
I really put my head down ever since we shut down our coaching business and I got 2,100 videos on YouTube. I look at everything that I have on YouTube and I, I, I this is gonna, gonna sound bizarre to you. I don't, I don't have anything else. Yeah. I truly have expired the amount of information that I have. I poured it all out. I put it on all the YouTube, right? And then when I find something new, I'm I'm more excited. I'm a happier person and I'm full of more energy and I make more things happen in creation when I'm in learning mode, not teaching mode. Right? So now yeah. that I've gone back into learning, then as soon as I learn something from someone that I feel is valuable, then I just share their stuff. I'm back into the same mode that's made me the most money. So if I stumble awesome. across Robert Greene and I realized that he wrote a book called Mastery and he understands what's going on too. So he knows that he can sell more books if he just gives you all this stuff that he says in the book. Have you guys noticed this? And I'll, I'll tell you the first person that I heard it from was Alex Hermosi, right? So yep. he blew everyone. No one's even gotten close to his records of how much he made in one product launch. And this is how he sold all of his books. Alex said, everything I know, every single thing I know is on my YouTube channel. And everything that I put on my YouTube channel, if you study it and you do what I do, if you want to do what I do, you'll make $10 million. And you know why I want to give it to you for free. And you know why I want you to, you to have it for free because, because I want you to be able to hire me to take you to a hundred million. That's smart. Very smart. And so as soon as we got rid of the brand and I got back in network marketing six years and three months ago, um, I am, I don't know what else I can share with people. So now I'm back <laughs> into learning mode and up leveling mode and sorting mode. And, and I, I love it. I love every day learning from people that, have already gone to a place that I want to go. You guys know that I say that saying, right? Um, why would why would people want to learn from people that haven't been where they want to go? Yeah. So right now, there's my mentors are very few that I can listen to. You know, it's like me. I have to stay more in the learning and creation because when I learn stuff and I get excited about it, I share it with you guys. That's why the people in the inner circle, you guys hear the stuff that I bring up on inner circle and imaginary, the imaginators is stuff that I learned that week. So that's why Fresh. the inner circle and the imaginators, yeah, Matt does the same thing. Do you guys realize how jacked up Matt is when he just learned some new stuff from AI? He, he's, he's jacked out of his mind to teach you what's coming out and what he's currently using. That's fun to stay in that creation space. And you know when Matt doesn't like AI? It's when, it's when people go, honey, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and it's crazy. It's crazy the um, ignorant shit that people say. It's like someone goes, uh, why can't I show people the prices of the dream trips? Do I have to become a member to be a part of dream trips? It's like <laughs> moron level questions. <laughs> yeah, You know, and, and I'm looking at that. It's like, hey, listen, is there any way I could learn to do this business without watching your videos? <laughs> yeah wow 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 you know what i mean and i still love it i'm patient with these people and i i, I still sort of help them out but when you're watching a chat for me and terry now says 
I get asked to be taken out. See, there's, I'm not perfect. I'm telling you guys, I'm not perfect. I ask Josh and Jenna to take me out of leadership groups. Okay. Because I can't tell you why it triggers me so much. Yes, I can. Yes, I can. When, when the information's available for someone to change every area in their life and they're just too fucking lazy to do it, it tweaks me to a level that's very, it's not fun for me. You know, so we have so-called leaders in this group and they'll ask a question like, uh, um, you know, is it pay, get four and pay no, pay no more? Does that, does that work on metal computers? Repeat that one more time, Robert, because you uh, garbled. Okay. Please. In the in the standard and the priority Dream Trips membership, is the get four, pay no more? Does that work on both memberships? See, when people are asking questions, just to ask questions. I just I just can't imagine being so lazy that in a leadership group that are supposed to be leaders that I ask a question like that. That just means that I am not plugged in, I'm not watching or hearing anything that's happening in the company, and I'm so effing lazy, I wanna just ask this question. <laughs> which gives me a reason to bring up something quick for you guys. Cause I didn't know, see, I'm not perfect. Did you guys know that if you become a priority dream trip member at $129, you're an executive. So everything else in MDC's platform, everything else you need 90 in personal volume, except for dream trips priority. $65 in volume, 65 points, and you are, you are an executive. So you get four, pay no more. It also works with every qualification of the company. So if you got three people that were on the priority dream trips, those are your three executives that you need to go all the way to this master affiliate. <laughs> And it's like, I'm going, I'm going like, no, no, knows this. nobody knows this. And I'm like going, wait a minute. If I was going, Hey, Ola, you should get an MDC. All right, great. Free affiliate. Here you go. What is your suggestion that I do is dream trips is the least expensive way to not only get in the company, Ola, but we can focus yeah. on get, we can get you a check. We'll focus on getting you four so you don't pay no more. How many people do you guys know talk to people like this? Ola, how much do I gotta pay every month, you know, to, to make money? Um, <laughs> you don't have to pay anybody if you don't bring anybody in, you idiot. Just don't get in. <laughs> you see what I mean? But you know, yeah. you know how mental people are. When they go, what are the monthly requirements? Yeah. Because the question should be, is how fast can I make 10 grand? See the difference? Yeah. It's like, hey, I can afford brand bucks on, on subscription if I'm making 20, 30,000 a month. No, I, I, I can do it if I'm making... 200 bucks a month. <laughs> you see what I mean? It's like my yeah. thought has always been how fast can you get a belief check? And then how fast can you get your membership for free? Let me tell you guys why, you know, again, digital, 200 countries, 19 year old company, 5 million subscribers. Me and Terry were watching the training today. And you know what excites me most about Dream Trips is when she says, look at the prices on this. There, do you guys know there's 200 cruises? There's 200 what, Robert? You mm -hmm. garbled again, please. 200 day cruises. <laughs> I know some of you are going like, what? 
Five's enough. What what the hell do you need a home for, an apartment, if you can go on two cruises a year for 200 days each? That's nuts. But anyway. <laughs> yeah. It's like it's like it's so true. But um but yeah, when I look at when I look, I, it's just so easy. Me and Terry are watching, and the very first thing that Terry says is like, "Oh my God, you know, where do I get these slides?" I know a lot of people that would like to go on these vacations. I'd like to take my family on these vacations. And then you know, Mark brings up really funny stuff. He goes, "How many of you guys have heard that there's a private jet membership?" You know what I mean? There's a lot of companies that have this, believe it or not. Warren Buffett has one. It's called NetJets. So what you do is you just buy five or $10,000 worth of credit, and then you can use that with the NetJets. And a lot of people that own jets lease their jets to companies like NetJet, right? Because they get to write it off. So he goes, you don't need a membership to, to be able to get a yacht or a private jet to dream trips. And I'm going, what? So, hey, I'm looking for a personal jet. You know what I mean? I want to fly me and my family and all our dogs to wherever we're going and fly it. You know, <laughs> it, it, it's just, it, it's pretty interesting. So, so, so Ola, I hope that helped. Yeah, very much. Thank you. You bet. I was going to say one thing. I've actually taken the time that if someone went on 199 brand bucks, right? What you got to do so that you're making $200 a month, right? 200 bucks a month. Yeah. That would mean that you would have to do uh, uh, 2000 in monthly volume. So that adds up to be about 15 per, 15 people per leg. Does that make sense? So when I'm helping someone with the game plan, it's A, let's get you a check. Two, let's get you in profit. I want you to be making more a month than your monthly membership. So we need to build an organization of 30 people, 15 on your left, 15 on your right, and now your monthly's covered. Now let me do that again. Ola, you become a priority Dream Trips member. We get four people that do the same. You don't pay anymore. How many people just feel like four is easier than 30? Duh. <laughs> <laughs> Isn't that, of course. I mean, that's, oh my God. That's just freaking insane. I don't know of a company, not one company that I'm aware of, that offers what MDC does and a person can get into free, you know what I mean? And then work their yeah. way all the way to super. It's just, it's just amazing. It really truly is. Yeah. Thank you so much. Awesome. Thank you. Thank you all. I love you. Love you too. Bye. Okay, Craig, let's shut her down. Let's go. All it. right. Wow. <laughs> Another great AMA with the A amazing Robert Hollis. And, uh, for those of you watching on YouTube, if you'd like to ask Robert a question for our next AMA, go ahead and type your question in the comment section below this video, and we will answer it on the next AMA. We will be posting uh, the live version in uh, later today, so those of you that are watching want a replay, go for it, or who want to share it, it'll be posted in just a little while. Uh, if you want to save the chat, there's information in the chat. Go ahead and uh, click the three dots in the chat next to ask me anything and then click on save chat. It will download your computer at the very end of this Zoom. Uh, if you are watching on YouTube, then the information will be listed below in the comment section. Uh, definite shout outs to Ola Meyer and James Saunders for participating. Matt Hollis, bless you, my friend. Thank you for being an amazing executive producer. We love you and we appreciate you. And of course, Robert and Terry Hollis, thank you so much for being our friends, our guides, our mentors. We love you and we appreciate you. And we appreciate you for joining us today here on Ask Me Anything with the A Amazing Robert Hollis. So please join us next time. Be good to yourselves. 
Be cash. Bye bye. And I'm going to go ahead and unmute everybody who's joined us so that we can all say so long for now. Have a great week. We'll see Imaginators tomorrow at noon Pacific. There we go. Thank you, everybody. Happy Thank Saturday. You. Thank you, Thank you. Thank Dad, you. Dad, Mom, Bye, everybody. Thank Thanks, you, Matt, everybody. Daniel, Faith, Thanks, Early, everybody. Yeah, Thank you, Robert. Bye, Terry. Bye, Terry. Bye, Bye Robert. Robert. Bye, Bye, Matt. Bye, Bye, Craig. Hey, James. Bye, Ola. Hey, Thank James. You. Thank Bye, you. Two James is there. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Robert. Jamie, Mike, Jody. Ola from Sweden. Thank you. Bye, Robert. Thank you, Arthur, for being on here. Great comments. Thank you, Matt. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Craig. Who's the little puppy? <laughs> oh, hi, so cute. Yeah, look at that. Sleepy puppy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Love you guys.